Ladies and gentlemen, I'm NoGuy21. Welcome back to Let's Play. Now we're tonight's two. Storms are here. Last time. We had finished investigating the uh, various nex nexus. Uh, various nexus of the arcane variety are around the Sword Coast. Hooray! And of course, we're leaving good old Aquila to figure out what the fuck this all means in the end. But uh, we're kind of stuck. So the, the only thing left to do is progress on with the main storyline. Hooray! First things first, I need to head back out in Neverwinter. I need to head to Fandolin, buy some cold iron, and head on back to Crossroad Keep. Do some upgrades, then talk to Sasani. <sighs> what a mess this is. Alright then. Let's take the roads. And hopefully we don't have to deal with any assassins, but I don't uh, trust my uh, RNG to be that kind to me. I expect it to completely uh, take my head and slam it into a wall. Hello, friendly bandit gang. You have anything to say? Probably not. Bandits! Wait, I need to speak to you. You're blue. You're not hostile. I want to see if I can get something else. Might as well kill them. They're bandits! Get them off the fucking minimap. Oh, there's not that many of you. I thought you were threatening. I feel so sorry for you. I don't even need a combat expertise to take care of you lot. 60 damage on crits. Alright, I'll take that damage. Nope, uh, I don't want any normal bullets. I'll take magical ones. Thank you for the gold, good sirs. Oh. Can we click on the bag? Thank you. All right then. <sighs> wow. My sleeping schedule has gone a little bit back to normal. I say that, and I'm tired. Why am I tired? Oh yeah. I just got done eating a fucking pound of bacon. That's probably why I'm so sleepy right now. Hello, normal bandit gang. You gonna come after me? Probably. Uh, give me the chance, I'll gladly eat several pounds of bacon. I don't know why. It just tastes good. Huh. Apparently our hiding is so well that they don't even no notice us. Or they're just fucking scared shitless. How many trade bars do we have? That is... The wrong button to press. 1310. Um, is this enough trade bars? Ah, to health it. Go to the headquarters, collect what we can, then teleport to Fandolin, then get the fuck out. And head on back to the keep. Mario. Here's your share of the income our company. If there's anything Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, hey there, friend. Teleport me to Fendelin. <gasps> 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 
Okay, someone must be talking about me, because I'm not sick. At least I don't think I am. No, but I am burning myself alive with this coffee. Holy shit. You need to wait a couple minutes for it to cool down. Because you should drink it straight once freshly hot. It's going to taste funny as well. Trade. Buy all of this. Fuck you, assassins. I'm not going to bother with you guys. Do, 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 do. Back to the keep we go. Visit the merchant headquarters. Wait a minute, I need to enter the courtyard first. Fuck! Uh, more loading screens for me. Do, 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 do. Care about master. Hey boss, something I can get. I need to see what you have stored, and I need this question mark. Wait, I already had cold. I am deeply confused right now. Unless I sold the mead, which I probably did and didn't realize it because it's not fucking labeled. Oh, god damn it. We still might have the Here's stuff I need. Share of the income, our company. If there's anything yeah, yeah, yeah. You need, just let me know. Upgrade. The weapons are waiting in a warehouse in Neverwinter's Docks District. I'll have them distributed immediately. All right. Okay then, I don't have to worry about anything anymore. Woohoo! Wait a minute, I wonder, do I have a weapon of cold iron? No, I don't have adamantium. Which requires one adamantium and 250 gold pieces. Adamantine weapons overcome many types of damage resistance do additional two points of magic damage. That's actually worthwhile to actually farm out. Unfortunately, I don't know how the rare resources respawn timer works. If I could figure that out, I wouldn't have to worry about anything. But since I don't know the inner mechanics of game time, I should have luck. If there's anything you need. Show me what you have for sale, Jacoby. Jacoby. Jaco, whatever your fucking name is. I need to buy, um... A not an adamantium. Well, maybe some full plate. Maybe a rapier. Tower shield. What do you need for cold iron? Timber and cold iron. What do we need for a battle axe? Just one cold iron. Okay. I am going to see if I can just get rid of this fucking quest that I've been ha that I've had since the fucking beginning of the game. Now then, where is that stupid uh? Blacksmith area. It's in here somewhere. Arcane workbench. There's the blacksmith's workbench. There it is. Come on, bud. Your need for this components of crafting. Weapon recipe book. Open. If it's just a, it, insufficient quality quantity. Oh yeah, I forgot to get, get it out of the thing. Oops. My bad. Ugh. 
My mind. Why do you not work properly, you stupid fuck? Okay. Well, since I know the only thing I have left in storage is cold iron and miscellaneous crap. Evening, boss. I will take one unit of cold iron. I'm surprised I actually have some of that. Do, 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 do. Let's try that again. Now examine. I want to use it. Hmm. Cold uh, forged iron is being to shape with nothing but raw brute strength. Popular lore assert it. Yeah asserts that fey creatures and some feeds are especially vulnerable to cold iron. And I don't think that worked. That's great. Hmm. I'm never gonna figure out how the, the how that's supposed to work, am I? How's that? Eh, bleh. Probably need to talk to OC back and fucking Samurgal for that to go away. I trust everything goes well. Well, Jordan Wright is dead by his own hand. He was involved with the snake tongue cultist and the auntie. By strange coincidence, Nasirin has informed me that we received a message from my long lost associates. They've requested a meeting at the Night's Rest Inn, a small tavern along the road to Phandalin. You know it's probably a trap, right? I'm certain of it, and that's why I'm asking you to go in my place. Since when do we start distrusting our own allies? As of now, the only ones I trust are in this room. And you're lucky I did not tell you to leave, Nasirin. I'll go see what I can find out. Good luck and be careful. Not that I need to tell you that. Indeed you do not, Sasani. Indeed you do not. Wait. I could just teleport to Phandalin. What am I doing? And I was just there too, son of a bitch. Oh, Lord have mercy on my poor soul. Actually, since I'm here, I should head to the inn, rest, and level up Rib Smasher. Since I did it for everyone else, might as well do it for him. Two. Oi, oi, oi. Actually, it's going to be a bit more expensive because I would have to... Ah, whatever. Fuck it. Rib Smasher. What a ridiculous fucking name. Here's hoping you're actually... Decent? Ah, what am I talking about? I'm not going to be taking you with me anyway. Alright. To the guild. Can we not get stuck in the door? Huh? That'd be great. Welcome back, brave adventure. Welcome back, brave adventurers. Shut up, you fuck. Fuck up. Yeah. Shut up, Darren. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait a minute. What are you wearing? Rich Smasher's Grips. Plus three strength on minus seven to diplomacy. Plus four to strength. Okay. Wait a minute. Yeah, that's what I thought. They don't stack. What the fuck? Why would you give him two items that... Oh, whatever. S move silently. Harry... Tumble. I am confused. About some things. Uh... 
Uh, power critical, unarmed strike. Uh, diamond soul. Yeah, yada yada. Quivering palm, which makes you very dangerous. If you can actually make the opponent fail their saving throw. Your target must make a 4 or 2 saving throw. DC 10 plus half the monk's level plus monk's wisdom modifier, or just straight up die. Um. Recommended. Improved critical. That'll work. Key strike, adamantium. Which means this guy essentially punches through magic resistance like a boss. I don't know why he worships Tempest, of all things, when he's lawful neutral. You think he'd be insane, but apparently not. Anyway, Stay the reason why I'm here. And step where I step. Good tidings. Do you seek training this day? Oh, foe hunting. Favorite weapon. Favorite enemies. No. Group trance we already have. Uh, enemies struck by the party's ranged weapons gain a minus one penalty to their armor class for one round. No. What about you? What are you, Darren? Welcome back, brave adventure. Here's some roster. Enemies on the overland line map. If the party care. Okay. Improved fearsome roster. Is that the same? Uh, yep. Uh, okay. Team rush. Each party member moves at the speed of the fastest person in the party. Well, considering I'm not gonna be having a monk with me, I won't be able to benefit from that. What about you, Maxil? Yeah. Camp routine? Party is 25% less likely to have a hostile encounter while resting. Survival skills are insufficient. What steadfast resolve? Your focus to strike of will isn't enough for you to benefit from any of my training at this time. Well, fuck you too, then, asshole. Hello there. I what does awareness do? All party members gain a plus two to their listen spot skills. Okay. Circle of blades plus two to their damage rolls when they attack an opponent from behind. Superior flank. Plus two their attack rolls will attack it to put it from behind. Alright, circle of blades of superior flank sounds good. Let's start with this one. All other part uh, <laughs> or the weapon finesse feet. Well fuck you! What about superior flank? Can I learn that one? Standard fee! Sure! See an action by a sinister group who have mastered the technique. Morph a network towards an old graveyard who can do it by a band of assassins. Five number, watch your back when you finally tend to sneak up a strike from behind. Fair enough. Now, okay, let's get out of this fucking cesspool of shit. Okay, then back to the end. Switch out Rib Smasher for someone I actually care for. <laughs> Guest book. Add or dismiss cohorts. Rib Smasher, you can stay here. And welcome back, Sariva. So, what is your name again? Soravora. Fucking elven names. I can't pronounce them. Save my life. I'm gonna rest now. Greetings. I hear you're supposed to be with the new merchant company here, right? That's right. 
Well, you have asked me bringing some life back into this place. Been there dead for too long now, and I'm starting to think that rat Sal that owned this place for gave me a bum deal when he wandered off to Waterdeep. Say, so, what can I do for you? You know any rumors? There's some shady going up. Well, yeah, 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 okay. Say, so, what can I do for you? Oh, fine. I can't rest at the fucking in okay I see how it is game I'll have to rest in the fucking headquarters anyway then fine you don't want my money pay in yeah you don't want my money fucking asshole well fuck you then Sal would have took it taken my money also, I could have just rested anywhere before. Now I can't rest in here, which is asinine, because they're gonna have my own fucking room in the... Oh, whatever. Okay, we're gonna rest and head off to Fandolin. And probably get ambushed by Yonti on the way. That'll be fun. Yonti, rest! Yay! Okay! Da, 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 da. You complete your training spear flank. You, one has asked you, blah, blah, blah. Old Graveyard North and Neverwinter. Yeah, that's right, piss off. You are ahead to her stead and the night stress in located east along the road to Fang. Leave them alone. Uh, where the f Oh, there it is. It's a new thing on the map. Wait a minute. Save often. Save often. This is the Knight's Rest Inn, a typical roadside inn frequented by minor merchants and other travelers. I swear to God, if you two assholes have been here this entire fucking time, I'm gonna rip your fucking heads off. Well, ain't this just spooky? I don't trust this area. I don't trust you two. Let's see, we got. The... Oh, we got Kizu, which apparently is a woman. Ah, well, I suppose it was a bit too much to expect Sasani herself to show up. I told you we waited too long to contact her. We should have made our move as soon as we learned she was on the Sword Coast. Easy, Brother Ilfoss. There were more important matters to deal with. This is but a minor distraction. You know, you got a bit of blood on your clothing right there. Oh, do I? How embarrassing. The former owner of this establishment, along with his guests, put a bit of a struggle. Ah, uh, well, Sasani failed to mention that you were also Yon T. I am sure there are other things that she has also failed to mention. It would be unwise to turn y'all back on her. So says the person who wanted to have a meeting in a secluded tavern after running away from the keep. Why did you leave? The plan called for subtlety and infiltration. Posing as merchants as we wormed our way to positions of power in the Sword Coast. Everything changed when Sahir spoke to us. This here shows that the old ways are wrong, but they only lead to failure. Indeed, our former god, Seth, always taught us the slow, sure way is the best. But where has that gotten us? We hide in the shadows. Promises that our kind will rise again, and yet we wither while the other races thrive. And Seth's voice has gone silent still. And what does Sasani have to do with all this? 
She comes from a lesser house, eh, a more traditional one. Society would consider our actions heretical and almost certainly will want us dead for our supposed transactions. Wait, Sasani is one of you? Of course! Her house is one of the best infiltrating societies of lesser creatures, so don't be ashamed if you weren't aware of this fact. Kizu, I grow impatient! We waste time here with her minions. If Sasani will not come to us, then we must hunt her down instead. Ah, uh, yes, Ilfas, you are right. I enjoyed our conversation, but regrettably, we can't really afford to leave you let you leave alive. Oh, that's just great. Where'd this guy come from? Well, it's time to deal with some pure blood Yanti. That'll be fun. Oh, hey, cool. Here's the thing, you little awesome Kizu. Um, you're not immune to sneak attacks, although this guy is looking at like. Never mind, he gets a steel sword stab through him, so he's dead. Ooh, excuse me. Kizu short sword. This powerful short sword was wielded by Kizu, and the slick sheen on the surface makes you suspect that it's permanently coated in poison. It's a plus three short sword with worm poison on it. Okay, I'll take it. Emerald Stave. Meh. This powerful artifact was once used by the Yonti Zodilfoss, and his dark power seemed to cling to it still. Oh well, that's so that's vendor trash. So, it looks like, uh, Samurgal's xenophobia was actually right on the money. For associating with Yonti! Huh! Maybe it's because you're a Yonti yourself. Go fucking figure, right? I mean, I know that Sasani was a fucking merchant snake, but I wasn't being literal about it. I was just kidding. Of course, in hindsight, it makes a lot of fucking sense. Or does it? I'm not actually sure. I'm probably talking out of my ass, like always. Well, it's time for us to get some answers. Considering we were working with a Yonti pureblood the entire fucking time. And let me guess, as soon as I pop in, yon T assassins pop out and try to kill me. No? Oh, great, Kelgar's here. So, lass, tell us what you remember. I... I was here at headquarters, and I heard a scream from Nasirin's room. I opened the door, and... and... he was on the floor. There was blood, and Sasani, she... she was... Oh, take it easy, Varel. It's over. How'd she look? Like him. A, a snake person. Her eyes w were... And she had scales. And she looked at me and said something. Something about a temple. And I, I guess I fainted. Ah, you did well, Varel. Take it easy. Well, that tears it. Two Yuan tea folk up here in the keep. Guess that I've got to shut this merchant company down. Master Kelkar, no! You can't! That can't be. Think of all the keep owes to us. About how much the whole northern sword coast owes to us. You can't act like that isn't true! Hey, that's a point, lass. But I can't let anyone know about this. And who's gonna run this company with that snake woman gone? I can do it. Very well. That'll work. For now. As for you, lass, there's been a murder under my watch. And snake man or no, that woman's got to be brought to justice. I'm honored bound to find her. And if you want Nash's approval of all this, you'd best start looking for her too. Oh, that's just great. I guess Nasirin fi finally got... <laughs> Wait. Let me rephrase that. I guess Sasani got tired of Nasirin's shit and decided to just kill him. Great. It's... It's so horrible. I can't believe that happened. Okay, Vario, calm down, take a deep breath, and tell me more about what happened. Ah, th thank you. It was just business as usual. The next thing I know, Nasirin's dead in his room, and there's blood and guards everywhere, and I... Whew, 
I'll calm down. I was speaking with some potential investors when I heard Lady Sasani and Nasirin start arguing. I heard a scream and then, well, you know that part. I didn't hear all what they were talking about. Usually, the room has a war castle on it to mute their voices, but I guess it wasn't working. I heard something about Samarak, but that's about it. Has... had Sasani been acting strangely earlier? A little, I suppose. I could hear an Asirin yelling, but they often quarrel. Like I said, they have that spell to mute their voices, but I guess they forgot to cast it. Or Sasani wanted someone to overhear it. I... I don't really know. Uh, going back to Samarak would be dangerous, unless Samarak really wasn't her destination. I think that might be the case, but Orias would know better than I. If she used the portal, that is. I don't think any guards saw her leave. Oh, great. My gnome friend! Too bad about Nasirin, really. Surprising that Sasani would do such a thing. You really think she did it? The evidence is there, isn't it? Don't you think that she's capable of murder? Did you ever look her in the eyes when she's gone mad? It's a wonder she hasn't made anyone drop dead before now. Ah, well, Nasirin probably had it coming considering he was an asshole. Oh, you think so? He was as sour as an unripe lemon and about as unpleasant as a kick in the soft places. That doesn't mean he deserved that kind of end. Just speak in my mind, though. Okay, now it's on to the business ahead. Does Sasani use this portal? Yes, she did. The fact that it still works is a gift from the Wonderbringer himself. And that makes me wonder how on twirl she managed to do such a thing. Hmm. Uh, we'll need to follow Sasani. Considering the circumstances, I'll wait the usual to hope for Ansport Fee until this matter is resolved. Okay, so you can't take us, but we'll come back when we're ready. Okay, I think this is the point of no return for this chapter. Woohoo! Hey, Volo! What do you have to say about all this? It's a tragedy. I I simply could never have believed someone so fair was capable of such a thing. And a Yuan T. I never suspected. Well, Volo, you're rather lucky she didn't come after you, too. Me? Why on Tora would she? She knew I was ever her faithful advisor and would never have harmed a silken hair on that delicate head. She need fear nothing from Volofamp Gedar. Sure. <laughs> I bet that's the reason, Volo. I'm sure that's the reason. Well, what do you plan to do now? Truthfully, I am not sure. Part of me wishes to wait and see what unfolds. Also, I wish to follow her and see if I can assist in some ways. Ah, the internal struggle. Well, I'll leave to a follow farewell. Well, that was interesting. So Sasani's committed murder, and we have to go get her. Great! Oh, boy. Okay, um, what to do now? Ah! Kelgar, I need to speak to you. I don't think you have any more quests for me, but I will check with you regardless. If you don't have any quests for me, then I'm gonna go uh, head up north to Neverwinter. Then, no new quest Follow from Kilgar, which means it's time to head out. So. Let's see, can I still. Um, I, I probably can't use the teleporter, so it's gonna have to be hoofing it on foot! Oh, that's just great. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Alright, so the plan is head north to Neverwinter. Morris says that Sasani used to teleport ahead to Simrak. Beyond that, he can't say. It might be wise to see if the gnomes at the logging camp know anything. Yeah, sure. Thanks for telling me that, gate guard. The Siren is dead. 
Apparently that's the sign of his hands. The sign herself has fled or escaped through the portal back to Samurai. Speak with warriors who arranged hand teleportation. Blah, blah, blah. Sound to head north. Fuck you, quest log. <gasps> God damn it. Okay. Fucking sneezing. Do I need to dust my room or what? But dusting doesn't dust doesn't make me sneeze though. At least I don't think it does. Ah, it's a joy to watch all these caravans bustling and rolling around. Moving along at the speed of sound. I really wish! Cause that'd be so much faster. Oh, and the graveyard's marked on my map. With a single fucking tombstone. This is an old graveyard, no longer in use. Enter the graveyard. Whew. Just in case these so-called assassins are a uh, problem, you save. Assassin. I wow, I overestimated you guys. I thought you were going to be something that was tough. But apparently not. You guys are weak sauce. Oh! <laughs> 75 fucking damage. God damn, weapon master. Oh, what's this? You're trying to sneak attack me, bitch? Yeah, fuck you. 1100 XP. We gain the, uh, where is it? Where is it? Superior flank. Where are you? There we are. Your team is good at hiring foes by taking maximum advantage of the divided attention. All party members gain a plus two bonus to hit when attacking a flanked opponent. I'll take it. I kind of wish I could get the feat that gives me extra damage when doing backstabs, but apparently I need to roll out a gang of thieves for that to work. Or at least a gang filled with uh, sneak attack dice. So, Assassin, Shadow Thief of Alm. I don't think Shadow Dancer gains extra sneak attack damage. I think Shadow Dancer gives the thief ability, the ability to use spells. Well then, this was an interesting day. Let's head into Neverwinter. Ah, oh, damn it, I just wish my wisdom teeth would come in fully because. You know that feeling when you, th when you got food stuck bet between your wisdom teeth and your molars? When your wisdom teeth are coming in? You know that feeling of stuck in food? I hate that shit. Just to make sure, a ki- a kill- yeah, bit, bit. A killy? A cali? A kill? I'm butchering your name, I'm- I apologize. Okay, Red Wizard, just to make sure you don't have anything else for me right now, I'm going to speak to you. Did you learn anything? Greetings, Traveler. I bid you welcome to the Enclave. I hope you'll find your stay here enlightening. Well, good sir, have you completed your analysis of the data from the Nexuses? Not yet. Return later, friend. Fair enough. Mm. What? And there's nothing. <sighs> God damn it! 
there's nothing else for me to do except progress. And I don't want to come, co yeah, progress just yet. So I'm going to have to call it here. This is extremely shorter than I'm used to. Ladies and gentlemen, I've been Nogat21. This has been Let's Play Never Winter Nights 2. Stores here. Next time, we're going to chase after Sasani. But until then, thanks for watching. I'm Waterflavoring, and I'll see y'all next time.